here's something else that's interesting about me. And that always sounds uh, really self-serving, but I just wanted to say, I didn't start out as a dietitian. I started out in the natural products industry. And what that means is I have this long history of having worked both in natural food stores as an educator, meaning as a speaker and a presenter on how to make use of the foods and the dietary supplements within the store mm -hmm. that led to meeting people all over the country who either worked for supp supplement um, manufacturing or thought leaders in that field. As a result of that, I went on to working in uh, the manufacturer of dietary supplements and herbal products and speaking all throughout North America, including Canada, on the use of those products. All of that occurred before I ever went back to school to become a dietitian. So as a result, here's the second part of my answer on what goes on in your office when someone has gastrointestinal disease. If the dietary protocol alone is not uh, addressing the symptoms to my satisfaction, I then feel out with the patient their comfort level in introducing some natural medicine, also known as integrative medicine, alongside their meds. And I also have references I can use about contraindications and enough wisdom over the years to know what meds can't be used with which dietary supplements or herbal products. And all of that gets shaped into a plan that is plan B. And the GI docs that I've worked with for more than a decade here in town are familiar enough with me to know that I'm not doing anything to encourage people to not take their meds. It's entirely up to the patient. If the patient says, I won't take meds, that's a different ball game than those who are taking meds. So a lot of it's coming alongside the patient, figuring out the belief system and taking it from there. I push no agenda. I sell no supplements. Mm -hmm. So you've got me curious now, how did you start in the supplement industry? If that's something that you did prior to earning your credentials to be a dietitian. Thanks for asking. So I was working in natural food stores in Tucson. Tucson is a natural healing mecca and has been for many decades. Uh, I would say that Tucson was a natural healing mecca even in the 1980s, so it was incredibly progressive to the United States. And as a result of where I lived and what everybody's belief system was there, I actually got to meet fascinating people like Andrew Weil before he was even famous. He was just a guy living in Tucson, growing herbs in his backyard, who I got to know. Uh, he'd written some books already. He um, hadn't become like uh, hugely paid on the speaker circuit. He wasn't particularly well known outside of Tucson. And as a result of getting to know him, I was able to be a part of the original University of Arizona Integrative Medicine School and partner with them in my work that I was doing both for natural food stores in Tucson and then later for herbal manufacturers. So because I was meeting the thought leaders in the natural healing industry all across the nation, I got connected beyond Tucson to job opportunities uh, in other parts of the country where I, I could no longer be in retail and instead be in manufacturing. And I made that leap in 1996 to manufacturing. Once I made the leap to manufacturing, then I actually worked at the plant where the products were produced. And uh, these products are still famous to this day, meaning anyone would recognize the brand name. And we were partnered with Andrew Wiles' school at University of Arizona as he was beginning his programs there. And it was a wonderful time to be a part of the dietetic, I'm sorry, the dietary supplement industry. It was a fascinating era. So for those who don't know, who, who is Andrew Weil or why, what's he known for? Oh, thank you for asking because I always just assume everybody knows Andrew Weil. So he's a book author and he's known for being one of the original people in the natural healing industry who became extremely famous and 
uh, is considered an expert in integrative medicine and who opened the University of Arizona's integrative medicine school, which is considered one of the best in the country other than Duke. So Duke also has a terrific integrative medicine school.